Reader's Digest. True stories from real life selected from the pages of the most famous, widely read magazine in the world. Ordeal at Yuba Gap. The crisis that overtook the city of San Francisco streamliner to become the greatest drama of the snow since the famed tragedy at Donner Pass. Six hours of surgery. The taut, exciting drama that envelops the lives of five people of medicine working in the hushed concentration of the operating room to save a boy's life. The man who beat death. The warm, moving, personal story of tennis champion Billy Talbert and his valiant uphill battle to victory over diabetes. The secret weapon of Joe Smith. The classic story of the United Nations and how one reporter proved to the Soviets that the pen is mightier than the sword. My first bullfight. The amusing and highly exciting story behind America's Toreador, Sidney Franklin's climb to fame and fortune as Brooklyn's first matador. Your favorite stories brought to life on TV Reader's Digest. Our end of the bridge is Brooklyn. The contradiction begins right there. Brooklyn isn't a city. It's a borough. By what stretch of contradiction is Brooklyn the birthplace of Winston Churchill's mother and the beautiful bums? How can you couple the shrine of the hot dog with the poetry of the early Walt Whitman? And under a renegade star, even a bullfighter was born in the borough beyond the river. I am that contradiction. The name? Sidney Franklin. Mexico City is a far distance from Brooklyn. When I ran away from home, that's how far I ran. Not to fight the bull, to paint him on posters. Well, Manuel, how do you like it? Which is the bull? Now, Manuel, please. I didn't make myself clear, my very good friend. I know that one of them is a bull because he has horns. But he should be wild. Something make you scared. I know the other is a matador because he holds a cake. But he should be something. Both of them? No. Answer the door. Senor Franklin. Ah, Senor Fuentes, good morning. Come in. Yes, uh, the posters are progressing, huh? They are so fierce, Senor Fuentes, full of fire and danger and bravery. Uh, when I look at them too long, I tremble. Manuel. Well, surely one little pick. Toro! Burro! Uh, hmm, anybody would think you'd never see a bullfight. I haven't. I don't believe in watching organized butchery. I study the photographs. Photographs? And what is the smell of fear on the photographs? What is the soul? Well, you better go to the bullfight. Definitely no. Hmm. No bullfight, no commission for posters. Ole. But not perfect. I don't agree with you, my friend. The bull's head, he did not follow the cave close enough. The swirl was too swift. And besides, the feet of the matador moved out of line. I don't saw nothing wrong. Hmm. Obviously, you're not an aficionado. Not an aficionado? Ha! Indeed! And what are you? Villamelon! Villamelon, me! It is you who are the Villamelon. What are they talking about? All of this. Aficionado is one who knows all about the bullfights. Mm. Via Melon is one who knows from nothing, like you. Equal such a 50 minutes of... What about Gaona Serpentina? Isufarol, gigante. 
en su fase de la muerte. Bebamos por el maestro, ¿eh? Vamos, muchachos. Fase de la what? Muerte. The path of death. Oh, and his revolera. ¿Por qué no le muestras a nuestro amigo Franklin, ¿eh? ¡Oh! ¡Ándale, Pedro! ¡Toro! ¡Ajá! ¡Toro! ¡Toro! It is a decorative pass. It leads the bull around the man in a tight circle. ¡Ah! ¡Toro! ¡Bravo, Pedro! ¡Bravo, Pedro! Fellas, come off it, will you? First, let's have another drink. Uh, bartender, fill him up right here. And what is this stuff called that we've been drinking? Tequila. It's nice. <laughs> Now, what is there to it, really? You mean the bullfight, Sidney? Bullfight? It's no fight. The bull doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance. It's a great contest, Sidney. Ah, it's a setup. Senor Franklin. Nine or ten guys work the bull over. They wear him down, cloud him around, and then one very brave fellow pushes him over with a sharp letter opener. Bullfight? That's a gang fight, another. No, 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 no. You have missed the entire meaning, Sidney. You saw nothing. The technique, the artistry, the cold, skilled courage. Pepe, why are you wasting words? You're talking to an American. Uh, an American could not be a bullfighter. How is he to understand? It isn't that an American couldn't be a bullfighter. An American wouldn't want to be a bullfighter. Now it's your turn to come off it, Sidney. You Americans excel at the nicest sport, but when the going gets really tough. Oh, so an American doesn't have any guts, is that it? I didn't say that, Sidney, you did. Well, listen, I love you guys, but I'm gonna let you in on a little something. Americans have more guts than anybody in the whole world. You may think I'm doing a little star-spangled flag-waving, and you know something? You're absolutely right. <laughs> But all other things being equal, Americans can do anything higher, faster, better, longer, quicker, and with more grace than anyone else in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink to that. We're all going to drink to it. Some more tequila. Senor Franklin, please. <laughs> you are much too heavy for me to carry. I'm in great shape, Manuel. You just take it easy. We'll show them. You have an understandable pride, Sidney, and I bow to it. Now, you mention America's doing all things better. Mm -hmm. Possibly. You are a great people. Ah, uh, but the fact is, no American has yet fought a bull. Why should an American waste his time? It's so simple. Simple? <laughs> simple! If it is simple, why don't you try it? Time to go home, Senor Franklin. Manuel, will you take it easy? We're just working up a good head of steam. <laughs> Now, believe me, I would try it. I'd be glad to give it a go. But, number one, I don't have the time. And number two, I've got to earn a living. No, he has to earn a living. Right. My dear Sidney, do you know what Gaon I earned today for possibly one hour's work? Uh, what? Three thousand dollars. American money. Three thousand? Mm -hmm. This afternoon. Where has this been all my life? Would you like to give it a go, as you say? <laughs> Lead me to it. Very well, Sidney. About ten days from now, there is a tienta at a farm close by. The young bulls are tested. Now you'll have an opportunity to show that Americans are better at everything. <laughs> and I will. You just wait and see. What are they snapping the lights on and off in here for? It's only the beginning of the evening. It is the beginning of the end, Senor Franklin. Manuel, what is it? It is a tequila, senor. If we are swift, at least when you fall, you will fall at home. I'm inclined to go along with you, Manuel. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't. See you at the bullfight, he says. I'm here, Senor Franklin. You would want something? Uh, I would want the time. The time is four o'clock. Uh, four o'clock in the morning. No, afternoon. Monday. What happened to the rest of Sunday? He couldn't wait around. Oh, Manuel, that tequila. And what dreams it makes you have. I'm sorry for you, Senor Franklin. Thank you, Manuel. Oh, and such dreams. Actually, they're nightmares. They're so real. It seems that we were in a bar. We were arguing about bullfights. And I was bragging that I could fight one myself. And suddenly, because of my bragging, I found I was committed to fight a bull. 
Senor Franklin. What, Manuel? It was no dream. Senor Franklin. True. All right, make like the bull. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Senor Franklin. The bull wouldn't be sorry. True. Now watch Gaona very carefully. It takes more than watching, I think. Gaona? Sunday, the Green Matador. Of course, you're right. We need an expert teacher. Two, maybe. No, just one of his name is Gaona. To my surprise, the great Gaona not only saw me and listened to me, but he promised to help me. Why? <laughs> Why does anyone help a fellow human? Because they're sorry for them. The news of the foolish Americans boast that even traveled into his exclusive echelon. Gaona showed me a few of the simple passes with a large cape. The Veronica in which the cape is held loosely on a line between the man and the bull. And when the bull charges, the cape is swung to the side, leading the bull in a half circle around the man, horn passing close to the body. Go on and work with me hour upon hour until my muscles ached, my head swam, my eyes were bleary. In the few rest periods that he gave me, we talked only of our work. A work that I learned was indeed a true art. He taught me of the bull and its cunning reactions to the man with the cape, its insensitivity to color, but its deadly accuracy with horns in a charge against movement. At last he showed me the kill, the climax. All of the passes through which the bull has been led to this moment when he charges straight at the man and receives the sword in the one spot about the size of a man's fist. A split second action which can mean death for the bull or the man. It was time for the tienta, which actually means a surgeon's probe. It is the testing of young bulls for bravery. And the tienta this day would also probe for the bravery of a young, loud-mouthed American. Hola, bonito. Hola, que tal? Como esta? Huh? Bien, gracias. Como esta? Que tal? Uh, Senor Franklin, may I present you to your host, Senor Hernandez? Senor Hernandez, welcome to la tienta, Senor Franklin. And may I say I admire your courage. Well, I haven't done anything yet. Well, at least you are here. Some of us didn't think you would show at all. <laughs> <laughs> May I suggest you get ready now, eh? Right. Come, senor. I will help you. I would not wish to trade him places today. Nor I. I truly hope you have picked a very soft bull for him. Of course I have. I would not waste a good one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want him injured. Just frightened. Surely, surely. We just will have a little sport with Senor Franklin. Nothing more. Let us go see the bulls, eh? Bye. Goodbye, old friend. Oh, man. Well, will you please cut that out? I may never see you again. Boy, I'm glad I brought you along. They will never forget you. I will make them remember you. Don't worry. I'm going to be around here to help you make them remember me. If that were only true. Manuel, you have got a creepy strain in you. You know, when you grow up and go into business, I'd suggest you give undertaking every consideration. Come on.
Senores, this is terrible. That is the wrong boat. A young lion with the horns. How could that be? You said a soft one. But uh, it must have been a mistake. Uh, Look out, Sidney! Sidney, get on for it, Sidney! Not on your life or mine. Hey, Toto. I think it is now his turn to laugh, my uh, friend. At least he has courage. <laughs> hey, Toro! Toro! American Torero. Salud. 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 Sydney, you're famous. Everyone knows of the Tienta. Well, I was still on my feet at the finish, but that's all. It was a draw. <laughs> it looked like the bull was ahead on points for a while. Hey. <laughs> now you shall have a bull fight manager, Senor Franklin. Oh, of course, I couldn't get along without one. <laughs> you shall have the best one in all Mexico City. Don Estefano. You're hired. <laughs> now everybody drink up. See who it is, Manuel. Ah, Senor Stefano. Oh, Senor Franklin. Don Stefano. Everybody's still talking about your exhibition at the tienda. It is something they will never forget. The Senor will not forget it either. But it wasn't a total loss. It'll help me in my artwork. I think I finally got the feeling of it now. What do you say? Ah, pero eso es excelente. Magnífico. It is more than magnífico. You can even feel the snort of the bull. I must have it. Will you sell it? I'll give it to you. Uh, for nothing. Pero como? Eso es imposible. It's impossible for nothing. Here. I am complimented. Pero avrete visto, mira nomás, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, señor, señor, come quickly. Manuel, are you sick or something? No, but you are. <laughs> what are you talking about? I never felt better in my life. Just wait. For what? The sickness, it will come soon. We must take our big insurance. Manuel, what cooks with you? Why must I take out big insurance? Give me your hand, old friend. What are you doing? Hanging crepes again? Your poster. My poster. And my finish. Come on, let's go. Don Stefano, are you out of your mind? Holy matador, holy! You arrange a fight for me? I am your manager, senor. But I was only kidding. I wasn't kidding. And I have witnesses. But I know nothing about the killing of the bull. It's very simple. We'll face it with courage. And we'll make lots of money. I can't go through with this and I won't. And have all of the Mexico City thinking that Americano is a coward? It has nothing to do with being a coward. Ole! Ole, senor, ole! Tequila. Sydney. I will see that you make few mistakes. I don't know if I can go through with this. Of course you can. Remember, here, that is the most important today. The rest you will do automatically. 
I won't let you down. Not only me, Sidney. Many of them up there doubt that an American can master this. That is more important. At least I showed them that an American has the guts for this. You mean you have begun to show them? Hmm? You have not killed the bull yet. And I won't. I don't know anything about the business of killing the bulls, Matador. I won't do it. You must do it. I thought you had to work with the short cape, the muleta. They pay to see you kill the bull. Kill him. Now remember, keep the muleta low, no matter what. Make the left hand keep the muleta low. Then, in over the horns. Swift and clean. Matador Sidney Franklin became one of the great masters in the art of bullfighting. What had started in Brooklyn grew into a legend of fame and glory in the world of the Toro. Ole!